Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to X-Plane 11. Today we are at Manchester Airport and we're in a Zebo 737, Boeing 737-800 down here on stand 237 and we're going to be operating a Jet2.com, Jet2 Holidays flight through to Madeira Funchal. There we are, doesn't that look, uh, doesn't that look pretty? Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. Uh, we're using Golf Juliet Zulu Hotel at Yankee today, and we are going to be flying on that sim for the uh, for the whole way. Oh, is somebody else going? I think that might just be uh, just be ambient airport sounds there. I'm not too sure. We are on that sim, but it is uh, fairly quiet here at Manchester today. Uh, we're using, of course, the Aerosoft scenery. Hang on, where are we? Sorry, the mouse keeps going off onto the uh, onto the other monitor. Uh, yeah, it's literally absolutely dead. I think currently we've got a tower controller on at Manchester, so uh, we will have uh, somebody to talk to. But yeah, absolutely, absolutely dead here in Manchester. But that's not a problem, not a problem. Sometimes it's nice for it to be quiet because she can uh, give you a bit more time to get your bearings, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, here we go. Let's get things set up first of all. Of course, this isn't a tutorial and as always, I am not a proper pilot. Yep, I heard you say thank heavens there. Not funny. Rude, actually. Very rude. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a proper pilot, so there'll be things that I will do in today's video that real pilots would absolutely cringe at. Their ovaries would completely cringe, um, but do not worry, because uh, this is not real life, so it doesn't matter if, you, uh, if things are not completely by the book. One thing that does annoy me, I like having the main panel brightness thing, you know, with, with the uh, behind the switches turned right up and it irritates me that you can't uh, or that it doesn't stay just switched on so when you put the batteries on everything lights up you have to you have to do this every time it's uh, it's it's one of my least favorite things about this Zebo aircraft there we go. we'll pop that one on down there yeah Madeira Funchal is uh, is a place that we've just visited uh, in the last couple of weeks uh, we went uh, we booked it during uh, during Covid when all the restrictions were still here so flights were dirt cheap um, we did really well actually. To do the same holiday it costs like five times more now, so we're like, ooh, we're not going to be doing that anymore because we can't uh, can't afford to do it. I know people think that we're, uh, oh Joe, you must be absolutely loaded, you're jet setting here, there and everywhere all the time. Uh, no, we just really took advantage of how cheap it was when nobody else was flying, but now that things are, uh, now that things are going back up, crikey Moses, uh, yeah, we're really going to have to uh, cut back on how much we're travelling now. Particularly with the uh, with the fuel as well, the cost of fuel. Right, let's put our payload and fuel in so we know how many we're taking. For this, I will need my uh, my sim brief up. There we go. So, payload. I'm hoping that it won't actually cut you off as well because uh, sometimes when I'm recording, when I go onto the other monitor, which is where all the, uh, all the details, things like that are, uh, it cuts you off. And we don't like that. Uh, 2300, lovely. Do excuse me. There we go. And uh, if we could just pop back into here, so 20,300, and then the fuel that we are using for today's flight 14435 in block fuel. 14435, lovely. There we go. Call the fuel truck. Oh, thank you very much, sir. You're too kind. Uh, we're going to be using, uh, I think both tanks are going to be full. I think we're using center tanks as well. Uh, input the route on the FMC. Yeah, we, we need to do that. We need to actually tell the plane where it's going today. Uh, so that's all looking hunky-dory. EGCC, Echo Golf Charlie Charlie. I never bother with a gate because half of the time it doesn't recognise where it is. And, uh, you know, that's quite difficult. LPMA01 should have our route in co-route there. And, uh, Christ, it's too, uh, yeah, LS-765. That was the exact flight that we flew on, Lima Sierra 765. Uh, and I think we're going off 2-3 right. I've not actually looked at that. I should look at that. I absolutely should look at that. I think, did he say that the fuel's done? I think he did. Right, let's load up uh, X-Pilot. It's William Shaw today uh, on the Manchester North Tower, 23 right. Yeah, that is where we are going from. There we go. Uh, now, we will be doing a Cuts and One Romeo departure. I've not called for my clearance yet, but my flight plan does say that we're Cuts and One Romeo departure in, so we'll pop that in. He might tell us different, um, you know, and, and if he does, we'll cross that bridge, yeah? So that that's looking good. Yeah, uh, the plan fuel is 14.4, uh, is because we're fully fueled now. Uh, reserves, oh, how many reserves have we got? We have got 3,800. 
hundred uh, four thousand three hundred, so four point three. Cost index of six, is it with Jet Two? Uh, yeah, cost index with six. That's what uh, Jet Two Virtual's saying. And we're going to go to thirty-seven thousand feet. Now that might change. Uh, that's our maximum cruise altitude today. Uh, we do need to look at what our optimum is. If we just click cruise there, optimum is forty-one thousand. Right. Okay. Well, that's not a problem then. Uh, but yeah, our flight plan does say that we're going to 37,000 feet, so that's absolutely fine. Right, flaps today, we will be using flaps 5 for takeoff. Trim 4.5 and uh, quite low V speeds there compared to normal. Uh, if you don't know what any of this is that I'm saying, don't worry about it. It's things that mean that we'll fly good. There you go, that's, uh, that's my very basic... Um, my very basic uh, what what's happening in the plane today <coughs> I do beg your pardon there we go so we need uh, 118 decimal 625 118 decimal 625 for the tower today might leap into life with uh... no oh nobody's talking to him oh fair dues so, right, what do we need to tell him? We need to tell him where we are. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just, oh, hang on, we've, we've fallen out the plane. There we go, that's what I'm meant to do, because I'm, I'm going to whiz over here. So we are on stand 237. There we go, stand 237. So uh, we need to tell him, right, hang on, where are we now? A Manchester Tower, good afternoon. Chanex 81 Hotel is type Boeing 737-800 on stand 237. Request IFR clearance through to Madeira Funchal with information Bravo. Chanex 81 Hotel, Manchester Tower, good afternoon. Cleared Madeira via the Cuxham 1 Romeo departure, Squawk 7016. Clear to Madeira Funchal via the Cuxham 1 Romeo departure, Squawk 7016, Chanex 81 Hotel. 81 Hotel, correct. Right, okie dokie, well, that's, uh, that's nice and straightforward. So we shall just, uh, we'll just pop in... 268, stand 54, push and start to prove to face east. Now there's a way that I can turn him down somehow. Oh, we'll, we'll just turn him down on the headphones for now. Uh, 701616... These, uh, these little buttons don't have... Uh, there we go, they're a little bit fiddly. We'll pop that on now so that everyone can see we're, uh, we're squat mode Charlie. In. I mean, you don't need... Oh, hang on, has it just gone really dark outside? I think it has, hasn't it? What's happened? Has, has the sun gone behind a cloud? Mm, fair dues. Right, we'll pop back in. We'll get ourselves sorted. So, input the route. We've done the route. Uh, the IRS has not aligned yet. We'll put the fuel pumps on. There we go. And, uh, are we using centre tanks? We're not using the centre tanks. There we go, right. Are we not using the centre tanks? How on earth is that happening? Let's have a look on the progress. Uh, right, hang on. There's something not right there. Right, hang on. Is, is this fuel in kilos? It's in pounds. Right, that is, uh, that is a good job that we spotted that because uh, we need to go into because yeah 14,400 uh, that would not get us there now how do we uh, let's have a look where do we go in here display and variants systems I reckon Manchester Tower hello the service wind one tree zero degrees nine knots runway two tree right there we go kilograms right we need it in kilograms flipping it that was, uh, that was a close call right let's go back PA system no that's not what we need Ooh, it's all very stressful all of a sudden isn't it uh, where's our uh, there we go fuel weight and balance right that's not correct at all no wonder the V-speeds were so low, I thought they were. Right, hang on, we'll uh, we'll just run through again. Because kilograms and pounds are very different units of yeah, measurement. Tower, Egypt, 2634, taxi on way to G right. Uh, 268, squawk, 770. And uh, fuel, let's put the fuel back in. Yeah, we'll have to just redo this 144, 
I'll have to call that fuel truck back. Right, let's just pop down here. Uh, in it. Yeah, that's looking good, looking good. Z268, thank you. Taxi Mike 1, 2, 3, right for your golf and Julian. Whoops. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, that's looking good. I need to redo my weights. Insufficient fuel. Yeah, we're we're just working on that. I did think that the center, not using the center tanks is a very a very odd thing to do, isn't it? Right, what we'll do is we'll just flick the fuel pumps back off again. We'll just leave them there for now. Oh, this is turning out to be a right French farce, isn't it? Right, there we go. So we're in here. So we need to wait while the fuel's loaded up. No, we don't. We can, uh, right, we'll pop you in there again. So you're fine now. Verify, yeah, takeoff speeds, they, yeah, they're all, they're all going to change, but there's just nothing to worry about. Uh, the plan is, uh, it's still 14.4, but it is in kilos, so that's fine. Zero fuel weight, you're laughing. Uh, Reserves are still 4.3, because uh, I put those in correct. Cost index know, uh, 6. There we go. Right, so yeah, that's looking six, a lot better. Take immediate left onto Juliet, hold mic one. Mike one, um, the yeah, looking good. Flaps five. Yeah, check that. Check that. Everything's fine, but obviously these takeoff speeds are. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Can we? Can we just pop those across? Yeah, delete, delete, and delete. There we go. Right, they're looking a lot better. No wonder it was so bad. I, I was thinking there. I wonder if we go into the uh, into the fuel section now. We will have some fuel when we get to... Oh, hang on. No, we won't. It's not finished loading yet. That'll be why. I think. Hopefully. Oh, I don't know. I don't like flying. Terribly stressful. Terribly stressful. Right, we're uh, we're just waiting for uh, for the fuel uh, to seven, eight, Oh, there four, we go. Three, There's somebody else going up there. Um, say again the reason for the go around. Intense wind shear on final for Ryan at 68843. Oh, there we go. 7843, thank you for the report. Uh, back to Unicom 122 decimal 8 and call me back final 2 tree, right? Well, it's a good Once job I've got me to put the tree. By the looks of things, that plane that's gone around there, I think, I think that's a Ryan by the sounds of things that's going around. Right, so we're going to go to the next one. It's not good, is it? I don't know what he uh, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's I don't know what he, uh, I didn't really get what his reason was for going around, but obviously, uh, two, he can't make the six, landing. Eight, via Mac 1, line up 2, 3, right? Egypt 268, negative, we are looking ready for departure. Egypt 268, cancel, line up, hold position, advise, ready. Oh, it's all kicking off. I will prefer to hold short now, not ready for 9-11 Yeah, 268, roger, hold position, and advise when you are ready. Thank you very much, I will uh, report for ready to clear to six eight. Right, uh, one eight six two on short final runway two three right. Oh there's something else coming uh, in. Let's, uh, let's go watch him land two, while we're through. Tower. Good afternoon. There he is. Uh, last arrival reported wind shear one mile out of the threshold. The service wind one tree zero degrees nine knots runway two tree. Oh there's right, a BNSF train down there. Or X plane. Frequently so right, frequently uh, uh, seen going into Manchester uh, Airport Station down, down there. Allowed cars have we got down here? Ah, oh, they're, they're actually fairly like modern cars. We like that. We like that. This is actually uh, this is actually where I park my car when uh, when I go to work. But this it's there's a multi-story thing here. Yeah, just about here. This is kind of not accurate, but maybe the multi-story was built. It does look like it was put up in a hurry. Who's coming in? Who is it? Oh, it's just a silhouette of a plane. He's got his flaps out. I'd say that was a 737, would you say? Who knows? Who knows? Right, have we fueled? Have we got fuel? Have we got enough fuel to go where we're going?
Oh, dear me. I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, I will join you back when I've actually got enough fuel. Because, I mean, we could be sat here a while. Yeah? See you in a bit. Right, there you go. So, everything is sorted now. We've got 6,530 kilograms of fuel in the centre tank, 3,910 in both the side tanks. And uh, it's still saying fuel prediction zero. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, we're just gonna go through there again and make sure that that's all. Yeah, that's good. Zero fuel weight. Yeah, you're looking good. Reserves 4.3. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that that'll all be fine, personally. I mean, yeah, it still says we won't have enough fuel. But I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be absolutely fine. What could go wrong? There we go. We'll accept that. Uh, so how's that looking now if I click accept? Uh, yeah, it's still saying we'll have zero fuel. It'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Uh, so we've got our uh, our IRS has aligned. Oh, it's raining. Heck, can't see anything out the windscreen now. Uh, so if we just flick over to plan mode, we'll just step through and make sure that our route is good. So we've got... That is looking absolutely brilliant. Yeah, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. To yeah, seven, eight, four, our, three, next, uh, our next stop, our last stop. There we go. So yeah, that's good. Pop right it back on the map mode, seven, eight, four, three, and uh, we are ready to make a start. So let's get those fuel pumps on. Oh, not landing right. Seven, eight, there we go. Four, three, Roger. Pop both of those centre tanks on. And uh, we'll pop the, uh, the the wing tanks on as well. All looking brilliant. Fuel pumps are on. APU, get that on. Sometimes you have to press it twice. Nope, it's doing it this time. Should we have a bit of uh, should we have a bit of bit of left wiper? There we go. I mean, it doesn't need to be going mental, does it? Just uh, just to clear the uh, clear the mess so we can see what's happening. So the APU is just starting. We need that to light up here, and then we'll be uh, we'll be ready to put the APU gen on. And that's basically telling the plane, because I mean the Airbus it does it automatically, but on the Boeing uh, you have to actually tell the plane where you want it to take its power from. So if I don't tell it to uh, to stop taking power from the ground power, there you go, and start taking power from the APU. When we unplug the ground power, it'll be like just unplugging your computer at the wall. You know, the whole thing will absolutely die a death, and you'll have to start again. And I can tell you now that that is coming from a voice of experience. I have done that many a time and still never learn. Right, there we go. So, we are, let's look how fast we're going. 151, so we'll set that to 171 on there. Lovely. Heading 230. Uh, that's for runway 23 right, of course. Altitude, we'll just stick that right up to... Uh, 37,000. I do not believe that we've got any ATC on at the moment after the uh, after this. So what we'll do is we shall just cross off. And I know this is a little bit cheeky, uh, but we'll just cross off. Where are we now? So you need to be in that altitude constraint. So we should go straight up. Uh, the ATC will probably yell at us if we did that without permission, but there is no ATC on, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, so we've got that on. Altitude is set your damper. Not my damper, your damper. Turn that on. Window heat is on at the top. Lovely. One shot to tower. Uh, right, landing altitude. Charlie Alpha, radio check. To uh, 37,000. Excuse me. Right now, two Charlie Alpha, Manchester Tower, hello, readability 5 on, on frequency 118, I'm just literally working from a, uh, right, uh, right from a checklist Charlie here. Alpha, boring 7, uh, Charlie on clear to Copenhagen. Let's have a quick nosy. Oh, uh, two Charlie Alpha. Unfortunately, the list of departures only available to prop and light aircraft. Are you able the Samba departure yeah, route in Samba, November 859? Uh, so oh, I can't see it. Where on earth is it? I'm, I'm reading it through. Uh, I'm reading through the, uh, the Q&H. Oh, 9 and 9 7. There we go, 9 and 9 7. Right, okie dokie. Thank that will work. Uh, so we'll amend the flight plan for uh, 
Samba of the Maid, Five Nine, Two Hundred. I don't think we have to do both sides. I think that's just for that screen. But I mean, I like to do both sides. Anyway, uh, auto break sure to your FMC and uh, smashing on board the computers. Uh, we'll stop you the are service crews. There we go. Done. Thank you. Samba One Room. Um, you can we close Squawk our doors. Six, six, I always forget five, to close five. these doors, and uh, and that's not good if you forget to close the doors. Copenhagen via Samba One Room. Our departure in Squawk Seven Six Five Five. Doing good. Oh, it's a pretty plane, isn't it? It's very pretty. Plane. It's just this little battleship grey. That close. Oh, right, okay, so we'll auto throttle arm. Yeah, lovely. Electric pumps, pop them on. Anti collision light is on. And uh, parking brake is set. There we go. Right, so we shall, uh, we shall just keep the parking brake on. Ground equipment is removed. There we go. Yep, it's done it. The plane hasn't absolutely had a paddy and fallen to bits, so we've done everything right. We are now going to... Uh, right, hang on a second. Uh, we need to ask him if we can push back, don't we? Manchester Tower, good afternoon. Chanex 81 Hotel, stand 237, request push and start. Chanex 81 Hotel, Manchester Tower, stand 237, push that approved face south. Push and start approved face south, Chanex 81 Hotel. Right, there we go. So, let's get uh, better pushback. We're using the better pushback. Down to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Typically Manchester accent there that she's got, so we'll uh, we'll just push to there. That'll okay, do. Thank you. Just give us a few seconds. Weirdly enough, it was a woman that just spoke to us, and now it's a fella. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just go with it. Just go with it. Uh, we'll start Pegasus, because I am flying with Jet2 Virtual today, uh, so that will record our flight, and of course we will add a flight plan. Uh, to Volanta. I am on Volanta. Uh, my username is just JO3DO88Y, so if you do want to have a look at, uh, or if you are a Volanta user at, uh, at the flights that I'm doing, feel free to do so. Right, there we go. We are good to go, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. I've still got absolutely no idea whether, uh, whether we're actually going to get there with the fuel. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. Uh, walk around completed, all doors and hatches closed. Steering being inserted. We are connecting right now. Uh, push back. Uh, then we'll be ready to lift you up. Just please confirm parking brake is set. So he always says that. Please confirm the parking brake is set, but you don't actually have to do anything. That is just the text. Uh, that's just the guy speaking to you. You don't actually have to confirm any, anything of the sort. Um, you know, it's a nice thought, but it, it kind of, the first time I heard that particular voice say it, I was like, oh, have I got to do something? Sent me into an absolute blind fit of panic, I'm telling you now. I'm looking forward to landing in Madeira, you know. Hell, I'm, you're looking forward to landing, you haven't set off yet. There we go, we've just been lifted up now, and this is one of the things I absolutely okay, love about sir, X-Plane. Uh, so you may now release parking brakes. There we go, parking brakes are off, we'll turn the packs off. Oh, he says two and one, but I always just do one and then two. I, I don't suppose it really makes a difference, does it? I'm sure that there's a, a major reason why you do one before the other. Although, to be fair, if you start one before the other, it probably... Uh, they, they probably just alternate, don't they, to reduce engine wear. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, there we go, engines, uh, engines starting. We're all looking good. Oh, it's miserable weather, isn't it? I'm using the real world weather uh, from Active Sky today, and this is literally, as I look out the window from my house, exactly what the weather is like at the moment. Just grey, miserable, typically Manchester. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy that Manchester is consistently grey and miserable. There we go, start engine two. Oh, I'll tell you what we need to do while we're pushing back. We need to uh, we need to get up and shut that. There we go, look, full red jet to interior. Shut that door. There we go, we're all good. Better put a bit of fuel in. It's all looking brilliant. It's all looking brilliant. Oh, 
I love it when a plan comes together, don't you? Right, so we're all good there. Uh, he's going to ask me to put my uh, put my parking brakes on in a moment. So we will gen 1 and 2. So we're taking power from the engines, not the APU now. Probe, window heat. Flick that both on, otherwise everything will fog up. Uh, Anti-ice, I don't think we need that, to be honest with you. Packs, flick those to auto. Manchester Tower, good afternoon. You wing 7 Delta Sierra on gate 4 yeah, three, no that was yeah. Isolation valve, we should flick Auto and APU bleed off. Flick the APU off, because we're not using that anymore. Uh, there we go. Completed. Please set parking brakes. You are wings 7 Delta Sierra, Manchester Tower. Good afternoon. There we go. APU uh, looks like you've continues. got a slight unconnected waypoint in your flight plan. So after Samba, it should be the November 859er airway to Honolulu. There we go. Flaps 5. It takes absolutely forever for the, uh, for the flaps to come down on this thing. Uh, yes. Uh... Yeah, I changed because uh, I had the list of before and then uh, there we go. Uh, right. the flat, and flat. then I did uh, change uh, trim, uh, after some number eight five nine uh, for uh, Wing seven Delta Sierra. Wing seven Delta Sierra. Now that's absolutely your, fine. Thank in, you. In, you in are clear to bustle off. I mean, it's not the left, one room. Right, you're departure right, right, squawk up, zero down, three and four five. That's a very quick flight control check there. That's a fine. It'll be fine. Right, taxi lights on. Four, We're ready to go, to go folks. We are ready to go. Seven Delta Sierra. We're nearly, uh, how long have we, uh, how long have we been doing this now? We're nearly half an hour in, and we're only just ready to go. But it's, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? Right now, two jolly old fires, ten, the three fully ready request push to start. We just need to wait for a gap in the communication now. Five three push that pre face east. We just have pre facing east uh, right now, two jolly old. Manchester Tower, Chanex 81 Hotel, request taxi. X81 Hotel, taxi, Mac 1, runway 23, right via November Charlie, Echo, Delta, Papa, Kilo, and Juliet. Taxi to holding point, Mike 1 via November Charlie, Echo, Delta, Papa, Kilo, and Juliet, Chanex 81 Hotel. Right, off we go, folks. Let's get that parking brake off. This is where it all goes wrong and the engines just die for no apparent reason. But, I mean, we've, we've done well so far. Let's, uh, there we go. Little bit of, little bit of engines. Oh, we're on the move. We're on the move. Janex is off. Let's have a quick look, uh, quick out the window there. We've got Jess Glim blasting out in the cabin while the crew do the safety demonstration. Right, there we go. So we're going by Papa, did he say? Yeah, we are, right. Echo, Delta, Papa, Kilo. Oh, it's the usual route, then. <coughs> you tend to find, if you if you do spawn on the same gates, I mean, I often fly with Virtual 2 and Virtual... Uh, I mean, this is my first ever flight with Virtual Jet 2. Um, because we did fly with Jet 2 down to Madeira. So I thought, you know what, we'll recreate that flight in X-Plane. Yeah, 7843 Manchester Tower, best of luck. The service wind 130 degrees 8 knots, runway 23 right, clear to land. Runway 23 right, clear to land, Ryanair 7. I think this is the Ryanair that went around. Oh god, it took him a while, didn't it? There we go, right, we're, uh, we're going straight round. Yeah, when you do go from the same stands quite frequently, it's always the same taxi routes out of the airport, which is good because you get to learn, you know, you get to learn your airport. I mean, hell, when you fly places like Shiphole, you, you see, um, like on Vatsim, just people that clearly fly there all the time, and they just know the route. I mean, when I fly there, oh my goodness me, you really have to concentrate, which is why I don't fly there very often, because I like to fly, like, in an evening, nice and relaxed, you know, you get home from work, you think, oh, I'll just do a nice flight, chill out, I'll have my tea, I'll have a nice glass of wine, you know, I'd, just, to, I, I mean, I never advocate flying whilst, uh, oh, hang on, get out of my way. Oh, dear me, that's, uh, that's a stress you don't need in your life, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you know, but like a nice relaxed flight, and it's all just a bit hectic in shiphole for my liking. Just a little bit hectic. Just looking, the, uh, the frame rates indicator flashed up in the corner there. We are getting 40 frames per second, which is absolutely brilliant. Manchester is quite a, uh, a resourceful, uh, a resource-intensive airport, sorry. So uh, you do find your frame rates can be a little bit dodgy. Around, uh, around Manchester, they can take a plummet for no apparent reason, which is just not what you need, is it, really? All right, so we're buzzing. We're, uh, we're loving it. 
My other half absolutely loves Jesklin Express, i.e. Jet 2. I mean, I'm, I, they, they do a good job, don't they, really? They do a good job. I would rather fly with Jet 2 than Ryanair every day of the week. Um, it's just a bit more in your face, isn't it, Jet 2? And it's very... Uh, they're always holding your hand, you know, like you get asked for your boarding card about 87 million times just to check you're not on the flight. You get endless texts from them. Have you remembered to do this? Have you remembered to do that? You know, when I fly, I do like to be just left alone, you know, like you, I'm, I'm a competent flyer. And I get why they do it, because there's a lot of people that, that don't know how to do things, but... Uh, yeah, it's like, oh, Triple, just, just Fox back off and let me just, tower, good let me just, Cleared if I cock it up, let me just, if I did have a criticism five. of Jet 2, that would be it. It's a little bit in your face, isn't it? And I don't like it, to they call them customer the helpers. One oh, Romeo call them holiday reps, it's what they always six, were. Customer helper just sounds so namby-pamby. Oh, Ryanair's down. Oh, he didn't go around this time. Yeah, it's a bit namby pamby, isn't it? It's a customer helper. Ooh, dear me, no. Thank you. Are you in 7 Delta Sierra? Uh, request pushback. In 7 Delta Sierra, stand 4 3, push that pre face off. Pushback is 4 facing south, you in 7 Delta Sierra. Yeah, we're all good. I want to know who that is, that Ryanair. Can we get out in front of him? I reckon we can. If we, uh, if we keep going, because I don't think he's given him taxi instructions yet. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that we've not done. The cabin's ready by the sound of things. We've got Veronica in uh, head of the cabin today. Right, there we go. We're at work. Right now, 7843. Oh, I thought that they were requesting taxi for a second. I thought we're going to get stopped. It was just the one that's landed saying he's vacated the runway. Uh, 74, Christian Reiner, 7843, Taxi Alpha, Bravo. Yay, we beat him. We beat him. One, I mean, I'm, I'm not a child at all. Five, not in the slightest, but uh, yay, we win. <laughs> it's like when you play train sim. If a train overtakes you, you're like, no, get your foot down. Take risks that you wouldn't normally take. 7842, hold Kilo 1, expect stand 5 0. Hold for Kilo 1, speak. Right, we'll, uh, we'll get a bit of breaks. Okay. Mike 1, there we go. Right, I know, 2 Charlie Alpha, request taxi. Oh, he's an American uh, two right Charlie now. Alpha, taxi, Mike 1, 2 tree left via Golf. Right, I'm now transatlantic. <laughs> Maybe they're short on pilots. Taxi holding for Mike 1, uh, runway 2 3 right via Golf and Juliet, right now, 2 Charlie Alpha. He's not American at all, Joe, for goodness sake. Shalex 81, hotel via Mike 1, the service wind 130 degrees 8 knots, runway 2, 3, right, clear takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 2, 3, right, Shalex 81, hotel. There we go, right, we're off, folks, we're, uh, we're good to go. So we've got landing lights on. Yeah, I know we're taking off, but that's just a thing about planes. You have landing lights on below 10,000 feet. Runway turnoffs are on, strobes are on, anti-collision light is on. We're uh, we're looking good there. We're uh, we're looking absolutely brilliant. Here we go. We'll just look to the left to make sure nobody's landing, as is uh, as is customary. Oh, I'm a great little pilot. I tell you that now. Right, let's. Uh, Double three let's fox go. requesting push and start. So we'll have uh, we'll have up to forty percent. There we go. So three fox drop hold position. Aircraft behind. And we will click the, uh, the MIC. There we go. Fox. M1 speed, we're off. We're off, everybody. We are absolutely off. There we go. Whoa, hey! Come on, Joe, look out the front window. We're going to go whizzing off the runway. This is like the bit that you need to pay attention. A two Charlie Alpha by Mike, one line up, two tree right. Uh, oh, we're running right, out of runway. Right, I don't wish to stress anybody out. V1 and rotate. Way there we go. Are we going up? Oh my God, we're going to hit the trees. Positive climb, gear up. It's a bit heavy this plane. Flipping heck! That's uh, yeah. I think the F uh, the the airline civil aviation authority will be onto us there. Delta my Sierra, Lord. Taxi Mac one runway two tree right via Juliet. Fox oh, hang on, Juliet. 
we go. Right, let's uh, Taxi, one more turn off lights are all off. Right, we'll track those flaps a bit. Right, well, we are up. Say one hotel, Monty Unicom, one two two decimal eight, good day. Unicom on one two two decimal eight, thanks for your ATC. Bye bye, Chanex eight one hotel. Right, well, there we go. We are free of the ATC now, so we're on what's called Unicom. Uh, so we're just doing our own little thing now. Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. We are up. Goodbye, Manchester. Let's have a, uh, we'll have a oh, look at that. That is uh, miserable, isn't it? Absolutely miserable. <coughs> the rain flashing past the window there. I mean, this is when you're excited, isn't it? You've left Manchester, you're off on your holidays. You're absolutely off on your olibobs. It's just brilliant, isn't it? There we go, we're continuing to climb now. So we are going up to 37,000 feet today. We're going to just have a look on the uh, on the climb, or the cruise, sorry. So that's saying that the optimum... Ah, so we can't actually go to that at the moment, if you look. 362 is the max. We don't want to go any higher than that, because we might stall. So we're going to just pop that down to 35,000 feet. And that cruise level, we'll just put to 350. There we go. Oh, there we go. So we're only going to go to 35,000 feet. Now, as we shed fuel and the plane gets lighter, then uh, we will be able to go higher during the flight. Should we turn those flipping windscreen wipers off? They're not doing no, are they, now that we're up, up in the clouds? Oh, brilliant. Leaving rainy Manchester behind. Oh, look at that wing flex. I can't wait until I'm next going on a plane, you know. It's silly, isn't it? I just... Oh, I think it, flying is just such a wonderful thing. How something so heavy gets up in the sky. Look at that! Wow! Oh, that is what you want. It's a little bit windy, isn't it? Just a little bit, not not too windy. We'll get that auto brake, turn that off. I think we've more or less done everything, haven't we? We've got the cabin door shut anyway. That's normally something I forget. So we're just climbing up to 10,000 feet now where we can, uh, I'll take the seatbelt signs off because by the looks of things, if you look on our route, we, uh, we straighten out after here sort of, there's a bit of a corner at knocking but it'll be absolutely fine I'm sure there we go, we are uh, no, we're absolutely loving it I tell you, it really does make me look forward to X-Plane 12 because they're on about um, that the clouds as you can see, the clouds at the minute are 2D completely, I'm really really looking forward to the, uh, the, the new X-Plane 12, I've been watching so many of the videos on it uh, that are official, unofficial there we go, we'll get those off We'll get the seatbelt signs off. There we go. We're up, folks. You just need to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's have another picture. Ooh, it's just a bit nice, isn't it? Oh, hang on. That's not what we wanted. Friendly low fares. Everything about Jet 2 is flipping friendly, isn't it? Friendly this, friendly that, friendly the other. I'm like, ooh, no. See, my sort of customer service is very unfriendly. You know, kind of, you know, don't really want to be here. Oh, well, there we go. Right, we are going to continue climbing now uh, to our cruise altitude of 35,000 feet. Uh, I'm going to join you in a little bit. I'm going to leave you now uh, just to enjoy some nice scenic shots as we, uh, as we continue to climb and uh, cruise down to Madeira today. And uh, yeah, I will be back with you on descent and landing. See you in a bit.
Right, well, hello. You are joining us back at 20,000 feet on our descent. We've got an absolutely gorgeous sunset. It's really, really nice here in uh, Funchal currently. The weather is absolutely beautiful. We've got a wind speed. Let me just have a look at what it's saying on Active Sky. Just bear with me two seconds. It is saying currently surface winds 340 at 9 knots. So today we are going to be coming in if... Uh, if memory serves me correct, we're going to be coming in on runway 5, which means we're going to have to make the uh, the difficult turn uh, to land. I have had a look on uh, on Flight Radar 24, and that is showing that that's the runway currently in use. So, uh, yeah, it's an RNAV approach, no ILS. I'm a little bit nervous. I am a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie to you. There is, uh, there is an aircraft in front of us currently. It is a TAC. Uh, TAP 1691, which is uh, a Air Portugal, <coughs> sorry, TAP uh, from Lisbon to Funchal. That's currently at 3,000 feet now, so that's absolutely, you know, that that's gone. That's way out in front of us. Uh, we're not worried about that. Uh, we're not worried about catching that in the slightest, but uh, hopefully it'll still be on the ground when we arrive and uh, it'll give us a little bit of scenery traffic because uh, currently Funchal uh, we don't have any scenery traffic at all. Look at that. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? The uh, it, it just X-Plane is such a pretty game. It really is such a pretty game. Let's have a, let's have a bit of a zoom in there. Oh, fantastic. Let's have a screenshot. Thank you very much. I mean, look at that sunset over there just reflecting on the water. It's just so pretty. It really, really is. I'm, uh, I am hoping that we're going to have a fairly decent landing here. Um... I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just having a look at our landing, and I think we're going to go for flaps 40. Now, normally in the 737, you wouldn't go flaps 40 for landing. You'd go flaps 30. But I think flaps 40 will just mean we can come in a little bit slower. We'll have a little bit more control over the aircraft. Um, it, it could still be a complete disaster. I mean, to be perfectly frank with you, I am expecting it to be a bit of a disaster. But, you know, it, it, these things, if it's a disaster, then I'm sure comedic value will uh, will come into that uh, let's have a look obviously there's no ILS to input there because it is an RNAV approach we've got everybody uh, in the cabin there and a lovely jet 2 winglet look at that oh, it's, it's just that water is just so pretty it's just lovely isn't it absolutely lovely indeed but we need to be up on the flight deck here because uh, yeah I'm, I'm starting to be ooh, I'm, you know just just not quite sure how comfortable I am right now. Uh, but I'm sure as the landing plays out, it will get better. I'm absolutely not very sure of it in the slightest. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think that we're going to use quite a, quite a strong auto brake here. I think we're going to go for auto brake 3. Uh, do I think that that's going to... See, the problem is, is that the um, if you don't want to backtrack, you have to really kind of slam the anchors on here. Uh, at Funchal. Yeah, you really have to slam the anchors on because there is a right turn uh, which you can take to, uh, to to get straight into the airport coming in this way but you obviously have to stop fairly quickly in order to do that. Do I think we're going to achieve that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's currently no controller on at, uh, at Funchal. Just move that mouse out of the way. Look at that. That is a uh, that is a nice shot. We'll have a screenshot. I don't often take flight deck screenshots, but uh, that's just a bit too pretty to ignore, isn't it? It's such a pretty game, uh, X-Plane 11. It really is such a pretty game. And now, uh, if we just flick down to the uh, to the plan, so this is the plan at the moment. We're just up up here somewhere. We'd, if we uh, if we go to legs and just step through, we're going to be coming in down here, making quite a sharp turn round to the right there and going in. Now I personally would quite like to cut this corner uh, but we'll, we'll do the full uh, the full star. There we go, that's where we're coming in now. <coughs> do beg your pardon. Yeah, we'll do the full star just so that, you know, so that we're doing everything correctly. Um, I don't want to turn too soon and then not have enough time to come, you know, not enough space to come in. It's, it's not something you wish to do. So we'll just do it as it's input on there. And uh, we really will hope for the best there. I, uh, I do feel like throughout this flight we have distinctly missed the uh, the Jess Glynn blaring away in the background. I don't kind of feel like we have actually flown a Jet 2 flight today. Um, 
yeah, I, I just don't really feel, you know, you, you, you just don't really feel like we have, do you? It's, uh, it's, it's just not, you know, we, we need Jess Glim blasting out about how she's standing in a crowded room and she can't see our face. Uh, it, it's just not the same. But obviously I can't have that playing away in the background because uh, if I did, then YouTube would absolutely, absolutely, um, absolutely hung, draw and quarter me. Uh, for doing so. Copyright! Oh, they'd be waving it round. They, they enjoy the copyright hammer. I tell you, I've got some bruises from the copyright hammer where they've repeatedly hit me. Uh, so we uh, we won't go down that route. Slippery slope, slippery slope. Righty oh, so we're at ten thousand feet now, so let's get our fasten seatbelt signs on. Ah, oh, there we go. Landing lights are also on the uh yeah, we've got auto brake, we've got uh we've got this here. Uh, speed brake. Speed brake could do with just coming on a little bit actually. We're just going a, a wee bit fast. Let's get those speed brakes out, you see uh, see on the wings there, they're just lifted up. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now we're just uh, just a bit steady, a bit steady. Keep it steady. It's a nice approach. It's a little bit cloudy around Funchal this evening. Uh, what we, I mean, you you kind of think of Funchal and uh, like the Canaries because it's not too far from the Canaries in the grand scheme of uh, things. You think of them as these hot islands, whereas Funchal does have a tendency to get very very cloudy. Uh, when we were there, sometimes it was absolutely not a cloud in the sky, and then like an hour later, you won't be able to see the sun because of the cloud. You know, it just kind of comes and goes. Uh, so I'm hoping we'll have a fairly nice approach. I'm hoping it's not raining. I mean, we got away with no rain at all, but it's a very, very green island, very luscious, um, simply because of the amount of rain that they have. Uh, it's so pretty, so pretty, and if you're a bus lover, you need to go to Funchal. They've got some absolutely fantastic bus routes. Really, really old buses there. It's it's just such a great, great trip if you're a bus lover. And even if you're a plane lover, you know, that although it's not the busiest airport in the world, there's some absolutely fantastic looking approaches. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll just have a look. There we go. Yeah. Um, the Air Portugal tap has arrived. I wonder if he's. Uh, I wonder if he's gonna. Uh, so he's backtracking there. No, we've got edges yet, haven't we? Just, uh, just pop a little bit more speed brake on. Is that the runway in front of us? Oh, it is. Oh, fantastic! That's obviously. Uh, that's the approach this way. Now we're obviously way too high to make that, so we're going to be branching off to the left in just a moment, and then doing the uh, the, the famous turn into the airport. I would rather have come in this way, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, simply because I think it's a bit of an easier approach. But Joe loves a challenge. Joe absolutely loves a challenge and it's, uh, oh, hello 2D cloud. <laughs> oh, I am looking forward to explain this skyscape on X-Plane 12 looks absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Right, so we need to be slowing down now, really, don't we? Oh no, we don't. Not until the D cell. Oh, we're going to get a lovely view of the island here from the right-hand side. Luckily, when we actually came in uh, to Funchal, we were sat on the right here. So when we came in this way, we got a really good view coming over the island. We flew past the airport. Wow, look at that. That looks incredible, doesn't it? Yeah, we got a really, really good view flying past the, uh, past the airport to come right round again. Little bit windy, little bit windy. 17 knot crosswind currently. No, we'll just keep that, keep that slowing down, please. Yeah, just uh, just keep it around 240 odd. We want to, we're ideally, if you look at the speed there. Oh, hang on, crumbs. I've not looked up the flipping barrow reference thing. 1021. Right, okay. 1021. And if we can just uh, have you as well, please. Should I look that up, really? Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. It is a little while since I've flown. It is a little while since I've flown. I've just not had time. What with 
obviously going to Funchal itself and uh, and then work. Because that's, that's why I don't do a lot of X-Plane videos. I'd love to do more X-Plane videos. I really would. But I just don't have the time to do everything, unfortunately. I say, I was saying the other day, I said, I'd, I'd just need to retire from work. You know, I've, I've done seven years in my current job. I'm, I'm the ripe old age of 25. I just think now's the good time to retire from work. You know, it's the, the whole work thing. Uh, sadly, uh, I am in absolutely no position to retire at all, but it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't have to go. Brilliant. I think everybody dreams of having a nice early retirement and just uh, going on trips, doing YouTube. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? No, right, hang on. Let's uh, let's get a bit of slowing down, please. We're on. Uh, we've hit the diesel bubble. We'll uh, we'll just bring this in here. There we go. We just need to keep slowing down, please. Keep slowing down. Let's have a look out the window now. What can we see? Oh, look at that. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. That going over the uh, over the island. Should we get a bit of flaps out? Just to uh, just to keep slowing us down here. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go into cabin lighting. We'll just put it on medium. There we go. So it's a little bit dimmer. That is absolutely lovely. Do you know what? I'm uh, I'm having a screenshot of that. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. So we are going out to uh, MA508. I hope there's nobody. Uh, I hope there's nobody here. I mean, I've not heard anybody. There we go. Keep slowing down. So, what speed are we actually going to? We are going on uh, flaps forty one four four knots. Right, there we go. We're uh, we've come down quite steep, actually. Actually, no. To be fair, no, we've not. This is uh, this is pretty much what it's meant to look like, I think. Good lord. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's have a bit more flaps. Twenty five hundred. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um. Okay. So we are gonna we're gonna stick at uh, 180 knots. We have a, a bit of speed intervention or interval. 175. Let's go for 175. That's a that's a happy amount of knotage. Oh look at that. Oh isn't it pretty? We've got Funchal just down at the front there. 2000 feet. Ooh, trim wheels are going mental, aren't they? Absolutely mental. Ooh, look at that. Runway over there. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get back on course here because we've gone a little bit off. A little bit astray. Let's just dial that down to 160 knots. See, I, I, I don't know if this is the way that they do fly in. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know if we're meant to be a bit further this way, though, and kind of come in at the last minute. I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, hang on. We need our gear down. Yeah, gear down. You can't have too many flaps without your gear down. So uh, don't forget that, Joe, please. Thank you. Right, I think I'm going to take it manual, you know. I mean, this is frightening. This is... Oh, why are we, uh, why are we accelerating? Because... Uh, there we go. We'll just dial right down to 144 knots. Gear's going down. Let's have the full flaps, please. I'm, uh, I'm just a little bit. There we go. We'll, we'll just, just arm the speed brake. Get everything on there. I feel like there's something I've forgotten to do. Uh, yeah, okay. Never mind. So I feel like we've got to go around these white lights here. Have we got flaps full? We've got flaps full. 
gears down. Everything's uh, everything's good. I still feel like we're meant to come more round like this rather than over the top, but uh, but never mind. We're fine. We're laughing. We're good. Everything is good. I don't know roughly where we are in terms of our approach. I don't want to come in too low. Well, uh, there we go. We'll, we'll just keep keep going. Come on, Joe. Don't cock this up now. Funchal approach. Chanex, 81 Hotel, short final, runway 05. I said approach, I meant traffic. Right, we'll come round here. This is an absolute disastrous approach, but never mind. It's fine. Oh, don't turn too soon. Oh, this'll do. It's not perfect, but then again, I'm not a real pilot, so you know. Two whites, two reds. Lovely. Don't forget to turn your auto throttle off. I'll try not to. There we go, that'll do. Look at that. That'll do. There we go. Throttles off. Oh, beautiful. Minus 19405. Right, let's get slowed down. Come on, before the... Uh Oh, we didn't make it, we didn't make it. Never mind, we'll go down to the end. Oh, but you know what? I was happy with that all the same. And there we go, let's get our flaps up. I was really happy with that. I mean, that's... Yeah, okay, it might not have been ideal, it might not have been perfect, but uh, can we, we can spin round here, can't we? There we go, we'll slow right down to about 15 knots. That will absolutely do me every day of the week. I'm happy with that. Beautiful evening approach into Funchal. Okay, yeah, like I say, probably not perfect. But we got it down on the runway, and we got an alright landing rate, and we didn't crash into any of the mountains. You've got to be careful here, because, I mean, literally, if you go off the runway, you're in the sea. That's literally it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Madeira Funchal, where the local time is 19.08 in the evening, as opposed to 19.08 in the morning. Oh, the tap plane didn't stay. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame, isn't it? There we go, look at that, look at that. If you're wondering why my beacon light isn't on, for some reason, every time I turn the anti-collision light on, yeah, every time I press the brake, it flicks off. So, uh, yeah, beacon light should be on. There we go, it's back on now. But every time I have to brake, uh, the, the beacon light goes off. <laughs> Goodness only knows why. Uh, right, let's get the APU on. <coughs> Excuse me. This is why I've not clicked record, isn't it? And I've had that brilliant landing and didn't click record. No, I, I seem to have clicked record, so uh, yeah, fingers crossed you all got to see that. So let's just get the landing lights off there. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, strobe light onto steady. This is a freeware scenery that I'm using. Unfortunately for X Plane 11, currently there is no payware scenery. What? I know. No payware scenery for uh, for Madeira Fun Shell that I've been able to source. So uh, we are using. Oh, the, the tap plane is there. He's back. Maybe he's doing the return flight, and uh, I always reload the sim. Should we park next to him? I think we should. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's have a look in the... Uh, oh, look, they're all happy in the cabin. They're uh, they're thrilled. They're arriving on their ollibobs. Coming in quite slow, aren't we? Uh, we'll just take the power from the uh, from the APU rather than from the uh, from the engines, because of course we're going to have to shut the engines off shortly. so stunning. Do you know what? I were a little bit like, oh hang on, what's that over there? Is that a custom bus? It is. It's yellow. I like that. That's brilliant. Because of course the buses in Madeira, the uh, the Horario de Funchal buses are all yellow. 
Oh, it's brilliant. They have B10Ms at the airport. Someone just turned all the airport lighting off. Gone very dark all of a sudden. There we go. Let's uh, let's take a, uh, a left here. Are we going to get directed in, do we think? It doesn't look like we are. We'll turn the parking light off so we don't blind the marshaller who's not there. Hell, how far how far in front see parked? Let's uh, let's just go outside because obviously there's no marshaller. We're coming in hot. Heck. There we go. Get the uh, get the parking brake on there. And uh, we shall get those engines off. Well, thank you very much for flying with us today. I do hope that you have enjoyed yourself. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do click that like button. It helps the video do better, draws more people to the video. And again, if, if loads of people are doing x -Plane, uh, or loads of people are watching x stuff, then uh, you'll see more x videos. That's literally as, uh, as simple as it gets. Uh, do, of course, subscribe if you haven't already, because, again, we're going to be doing loads more flights. I love flying, uh, so make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any of them. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.